the stalwart patrons say their names with reverent pride. Northgar here, as we continue with Game of Thrones. Now we're at I, Wrath of Stronghold of House Fourth, or whatever that means. Playing with a nerd from Yorkshire. It's Garrett! Set in Yorkshire. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! In a dimension of the past that didn't happen. That's what I think. That's my uh, conclusion. Garrett! I was too late. There were too many of them. We're already dead. Na, 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 na. Bring the maester. Meet us in the Great Hall. Quickly. <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. From where, where, where a Wigan soldier was either. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. Oh. She was only eight years old. No. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. What do we do now? Thank you, Mister. Vengeance. Hmm. The blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. You better be able to. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No, I want more. I doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Elves won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. Now to do it if to we them. don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Oh, primitive. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Primitive and net medicine of the medieval times. Why does uh, the Telltale always like doing these gory, <sighs> disgusting... You know, operation y type scenes and retarded stuff like that. Oh! It's a dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them! Honest. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Oh no. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hurt more than what already happened. Hold this for me, will you? Let's not have more operations shit, even though it's drawings. I still don't want to see it. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Aye. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Interesting. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. I killed them all. He's as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Well, give me a few days. No problem for this guy. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The maggots give me newfound strength. They give me new abilities to wield the sword of power. That was the inept attitude back then. They were complete clowns. They haven't got very cool names, have they? The Foresters. What about the fucking Dark Ones? The Ironwood Grove. What a generic name for medieval fantasy shit. The Hollow. The Hobbits. It's all cliche and it's all boring. Medieval England was garbage. Let's not act like it wasn't. Japanese history, that was way better. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No, they're vile. I guess. They turn into flies, even more insidious.
the healing herbs. This might help. Not likely. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. We already have you clown of a man. I wrote around the room already. Show him mm -hmm. the sword. I may be mistaken. You did. Oh. Did your leg feel weak? Yeah. No. I just wanted to ask you. Oh. Can I go now? I've got enough of you. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... And it... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. It's Gareth. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Oh. Garrett, I heard what happened. Oh. Is it true? Your family... And everyone else pawned. I believe the pawned word originated back then, too. I'm so sorry. Me too. Wasn't on the internet at all. It was medieval times. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Well, whatever you can recall. I don't remember. No doubt he's tired, my lady. He said Lord Forrester was valiant to the I end. I didn't really say And that. what of Roderick? He was with you as well. He was pwned at the beginning. I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. To mention but if you can remember anything, of... I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. Gwyneth Paltrow Minger. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. What of it? I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? He said, Any pull this sword from the stone and become passed, king. If you can remember. And I'll do it. It would mean so much to the family. Oh, I don't remember. Perhaps the opportunity never presented itself. He speaks for me. You have the Forester's sword. Oh. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord of the Thundercats. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Gareth. Gareth. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to... Now is the winter of our discontent. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. No, I want it. I pulled the sword from the stone. Duncan. This was our land. They were our people. Your family. You bastard. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Fuck him. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're a Wigan, we're better. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. Many of all people. They were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. A coward. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. The name's Garrett. too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. They deserve to die. All of them. I'll lead the I way. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. Honor. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? Didn't you see Dynasty Warriors? One man can be worth a thousand. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this... But now there! I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not Fuck faulting him. him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye, you'll say it was justice? 
They'll say it was murder. You'll back me it's up just in the an excuse army. Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. No. Cannot stay? Send me out to the witch wood. Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? Swamps of sadness. The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. The wood of confusion? You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. We're rambling on now. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. What is the wall? There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. I'll just this climb day that would wall. bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. We I know it's it. difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. I might come back and wage war on you too. When I've assembled an army of power. That settles it then. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Is it the fastest steed in all the land? The Lord of all horses? To get me to that wall? That I'm gonna knock down? Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord White Hills heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday, I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Just some house? I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. I'm not your Many of Lord me. Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... and I at Roderick's side, but... We all got pawned. It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. And I'm being kicked to the swamps of sadness, whatever. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? I don't know. Wait a minute. What is it? I don't remember. Nothing. If there's something you need to tell me, then say it. Lord Forrester wanted me to tell you. Dot, dot, dot. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Whatever that means. But the hobbits, they can burn, he said that too. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. The fuck is it? What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Uh... This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Lady Forrester asked, but I said nothing. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. Excellent. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Level up? Is that where you mean? I come become a cleric, a wizard. I'll do that too. I'll become a wall. Iron from ice. Oh. Iron from ice. Ice just melts. It doesn't Remember, anything. you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. Who cares? You kick I'll me be out. I'll strong. I know you will. I'll be the best of the best. With something so strong. Lead me on again, like a dick wad. Garrett, wait! Uh. What's that? It's not the glaive, is it? Be safe. What's this gonna do? What per percentage magic will this give me? On the hunt for the glaive. The sword of omens. The sword of the stone. Um, 
Willow's Wand. Magic Ethan? the elf people. Ethan! What's going on? Is that a Madam Twix woman? I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, well, he, he would try reveal himself. Well, might behind the, the tree right there. I don't like right this there. game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You gotta find him. That's the game, woman. You failed that game. All you have to do is move, see? Ryan, look who we've found. The worst hiding place ever. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. I didn't see the most you generic were gone. game ever. I thought we'd never find you again. You suck, kid. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. Looks like it killed and by the sure. bears of the Witchwood. Mm. And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. Oh, is she? I don't want Gareth to die either. Gareth. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. Who is this weirdo I'm playing with now? I was playing oh, with Gareth. Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, Why but I it with must have been serious. Where's all the men? I heard God's Duncan sake. and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. But I'm not. I know you'll protect us. <laughs> Who said they're worried about me? Who well, dareth? Sir Royland, for one. He says you can't fight very well. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he calls you a milk son. Well, look at him. He is just like a woman. Thought Sir Royland woman. forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I'll have him punished for saying that. I'll whip him. What does milk sop mean? It means I nerd, know, dweeb. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. Like a weir. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Huh? Properly, I mean. Laughable. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> well, you gotta look like a man Do you first. Remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Play hide and seek. This kid I? hates that. You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. Oh. Then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that, please. Just be you. I like you the way you are. He's got to improve and become a man, not this dweeb. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. He needs to man up right now. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. you got a brother merged with a sister at the moment. We don't want that. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. have you executed for one. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. You My have lord to understand. Lino. Being lord is a great responsibility. I can't just fool around. He led the Thundercats bravely, Thank remember? Thank you for that, Roderick. Or Lord Vader. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What are we doing with these nerds? I was bad enough playing with that other nerd, and we've gone even below him now. Into a man slash woman nerd. What the hell? Let's play with a great weir. What's the matter? Bean. Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced, and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Let's have him beheaded. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience this is with the, the Lord. Lord. We really must go. Get a man in charge. It's your decision. You are the Lord. Of all horses. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay. 
with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. I might remind you, Sir Royland, I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. Of course, man. You better remember that, Royland. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. Fine, I don't get to make key choices after all, then. And I want to make a choice to stop playing with these characters right now. Where is that choice? This plays out based on the choices I make, apparently. Well, I wouldn't have made this choice. Oh, bloody hell. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I Get him out of the bath right Lord now. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. How come now they get to it. murder us? Let's not do so something rash. Back. What, what's Things are bad on? enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing well, of House, House Wigan, we've all got the more them. reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule over. I bet you their hero is fucking more badass than our dweeb. How's a dweeb ended up in charge? It's a slob. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Who pwned him, you? The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or Ooh. my house. But to his family, it's still a loss. Ignore you, fat slob. <laughs> Bit on me and my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my Bob life. Bob Hoskins. The Foresters finally get ahead you. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. He dares anything. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. You fat slob. No bowler. courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You're in Yorkshire now, you mate. You little fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. They all sound like from the well, same now lower the class of society. Well, now the are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the north now. Roose Bolton is the warden of the north. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Typical fucking north west insults Lord Ethan, insults right you're losing there. control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord White? Get back to Wigan, you slob. Bolton or wherever you're from. Huh? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. I heard you lying, slob. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their time. Oh. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? Ran off to I the know he's warden. here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. You'll answer to Frank Wiggin, you slob. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. And honorable we your women. Like Gwyneth Paltrow over there. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? 
I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. All right, that this is over. is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Go looking for Gareth. That lad may be the Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is We'll law. shoot that raven out of the sky with an arrow that will strike true. You're a craven, Lord White. Craven coward. There's a fucking arrow here with your raven's name on it. Slob. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. Lina would be proud. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Huh? Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Ravens can't be trusted to get to the destination. They're idiots. They'll just fly and put it in its nest. We'll never find out if it even got there. Partners? What is this, some shit buddy movie now? He was a fat slob. She was a hideous minger. It made sense. Minger and slob, double team, and double impact. Coming soon, they were the worst theater you ever saw. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Uh, how do I do that? Are you deaf? I can't seem to move them. I'm frozen up. fear! I'm warning you, I'm frozen I'll fear! Shoot. Uh, lift off. Oh. If you don't raise your fucking hands right now, you're dead! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs>